we've had our second weekly dev blog update yesterday. And again, the dev blog has a lot of content in it, which means I've got loads to talk about. But before we get into it, make sure you check out Cataclysm if you're looking for an EU community server to play on in Close Alpha. Also, be sure to subscribe as I will be covering each dev blog update until Close Alpha release. The dev vlog again starts by thanking the backers and the community for the huge support, and a reminder that anything shown in the blog is a work in progress. Next they talk about how they're working to clear the issues that are still in the close alpha release, and that they're also using this time to add extra polish to features and assets. After this, Cal's work is displayed. He's been working on getting clock synced up to in-game time, vehicle optimizations, working gas pumps, new vehicle colours, and the electricity system up and running again. There's videos of a clock and the electricity system, so I'll let these play. The electricity system is looking pretty good. They did also say that turning off the power wouldn't be this simple. I'm thinking that the electricity boxes will have locks on them to stop anyone coming in and turning your power off without lock picks. Moving on, we are shown campfire crafting. There's some videos of this too. The crafting looks easy enough, and you'll be able to use sticks and bark, sticks and leaves, or sticks and paper for a fire, they said. It looks pretty good apart from the smoke effects shown in the last clip. I think the smoke needs some work as it kinda looks like steam, but I'm told this isn't the final particle effect. Next we see that Nomad has been working on a go-kart track and go-karts. The carts will be drivable if you want to pretend that you're playing Mario Kart. The actual track is looking really nice. In the next two sections we see two more guns, the Eda pistol that Tack has been working on, and the Remington Model 700 from Shiny Haxorus. The Remington is a classic that's featured in so many games such as COD 4 and various GTA games, and I love the fact that it's in Dead Matter. I don't know much about the Eda but I'm sure it will feel decent to use still. After this we're told that Dr Yitz has been working on adding two more safe zones to the map. Safe zones will be used to get missions and trade with NPCs. The first one is Duke Cartilage's radio station safe house, and the second one is the Dominion storage facility. These indoor environments are looking really good, especially the storage rooms that look like they are inhabited. But that's it for the devlog update. Every day we're getting closer to close alpha. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again for more Dead Matter content. <laughs>